So it's been said that we all die to death. Our first death is when we physically die, and after we take our final breath. Our second death, our second death is when we're forgotten, when no one remembers our name. It's kind of freaky to think about being forgotten. But after we pass, in time, we will get thought of less and less. Whether it takes decades, centuries, or even millions of years, until we're no longer even a memory and have died our second death. So when you think of it like that, why not just go for it? Think about what it is that you would love to do and just go for it. With everything you have because our life is like an hourglass and one day we will be on the wrong side of that hourglass. See death is one of those things that we all think about. We wonder how we're going to die and what it's like afterwards. But we don't dwell on it for long because it gives us a dark and uncomfortable feeling. It feels like forbidden territory to us. I remember the first time I ever thought about death. I was maybe six or seven, but my thoughts were fixed on the fact that I would be lying in a grave, unable to breathe or exist or anything, all dark and claustrophobic. I remember that it seriously messed with my head, that whole being dead thing. And one day I read this book that really changed the way I, I, I thought about life. I read a book by Leo Tolstoy in, in which a story about this man and Ivan and, and he's and as he's dying, laying on his deathbed, he starts thinking back in his life and reflecting on all the choices he ever made, how he lived his life. His life had always been about status and career positions, wearing the right clothing and only being seen with the quote unquote right people. He took promotions and job incentives that in increased his income but deteriorated the relationship with his wife and deteriorated all the relationships around him and he pushed everyone out of his out of his life that ever loved him and cared about him and he got sick and as he got sick and lay dying on his deathbed he looked back and realized he had preoccupied his life with all the wrong things and I'll never forget that some of his final words were what if my whole life has been wrong. See, we've all been brainwashed by the media, by our peers, by our parents, by our mentors, teachers, to achieve this thing called success. And no one ever defines success for us. You can look up the definition of it in the dictionary. That would do a large injustice to you. Because success is really a random, arbitrary thing. Because if you think about words, what are words? Words are just meanings of associations. They're just ideas that we learn to attach to a concept. So what is success? That really is the first step in achieving it, right? So let me give you my definition. Success is not money. Success, it's not clothing. It's not status, not materialistic items. Those are simply rewards of habits of successful people. Success is the magnitude of the beneficial footprint that you leave on society. How many people do you have an effect on? And what type of impact did you have? Life is not about where you start or where you end, it's the distance you travel in your life. It's what you stand for, it's what you represent. So make that dash in between the dates on your gravestone stand for something. Vow to live a life that is worth looking back on and remembering. Don't die with your music still in you. You are here to fulfill a destiny. And you can sense the inner pull toward playing that music that is within you, deep down you know what it is. That inner yearning is your cue. 
You may have ignored it to pursue other goals, such as the accumulation of wealth and status, but that inner voice of to be what you came here to be intensifies when you move away from your destiny. A vow to not die with your music still in you. Take the necessary steps to implement a life that has plenty of room and time to fulfill a destiny that only you can feel within you. Notice what you really want in your life. Take the time to notice the moments of your life that make you smile, that make you laugh, that make you feel happy, meaningful, and valuable. The times you look forward to, the times that you are so lost in a project that time vanishes. These are the daily moments that nudge you to follow that path of bliss. Because one day you will be on the wrong side of the hourglass and when that time comes you won't regret living a life in which you played the music within you but maybe it was a little bit dangerous but you might regret fearing regretting it. So you have a decision to make, to play it safe and to tiptoe quietly through life to arrive at your grave safely or to live full and design a life worth remembering.